Hey everyone, it's Bethany, and in this tutorial we are going to be making a t-shirt with infusible ink. So I'm really excited. I've been really wanting to try out the new infusible ink on the Cricut Joy, so we're going to do that today. So for this tutorial, I'm going to start out by sharing all the things you're going to need, and it seems like the craft space is a little busy, and that's because it is, but we'll walk you through it, and we're going to learn together how we can use it on the Cricut Joy. So first and foremost, you're going to need a t-shirt. This is the Cricut shirts that are um, compatible with an infusible ink. So I purchased mine from Cricut.com. You can purchase them at your local craft store. Um, you can order them off Amazon, but I'll link them below so that you can find them. But these shirts are compatible with the infusible ink. You're also going to need infusible ink and the color, let me see which color did I choose. Of course, it's no shock that I have picked pink. Um, this one is called rose pink. So on the box, it says that this is the infusible ink. It gives you a little bit of warning that when you pull it out of the box, the color is going to be a little bit dull in nature, but just wait because once you use the heat press to heat up your design um, to get it infused into the shirt, then it becomes a more vibrant color. So don't worry if you get it out of the box and you are feeling a little like um, it doesn't look quite right or it wasn't what I expected. It's supposed to be that way. So it will um, be more vibrant once it is heat activated. So the next thing you are going to need um, would be a brayer tool. Um, I'd recommend this. It's recommended that you don't um, touch the infusible ink um, or that you limit how much you touch it. And you're gonna wanna make sure your hands are nice and dry, but we're gonna get to all that. So um, a brayer tool is going to be helpful. A um, lint roller is going to be helpful for the shirt before we get the design on it. Some heat um, tape will be, heat resistant tape is going to be helpful as well. This is the Cricut heat resistant tape and I'll again have everything linked down below so that you can easily locate um, all the items. Some scissors and some tweezers will be helpful and then we're going to measure our shirt just so we can kind of decide on what the design is going to look like in terms of measurement as well. You're also going to need your Cricut Joy um, standard grip mat and if you have the longer one that's even more helpful but you can do it with the shorter one. I don't don't have the longer one I just have this short one so um, it's going to work just fine. I'm just going to have to contour out and slice my image a couple different ways to get it cut um, but that's totally fine. You can use a small one and that's what we're going to do today. And then you're also going to need a piece of cardstock paper. So what we're going to do is we are going to open up our shirt and get it all out of the packaging. I have to tell you, these shirts, um, they look really, really nice. This is going to be my first um, Cricut shirt that I've done, but um, they're nice and soft and they look super, super nice. So, so far, I'm very impressed. So I'm just going to take this out of the packaging and get it all ready for us. Okay, so here's the shirt that I'm working with. Um, you are gonna want to obviously have a different measurement based on the size of shirt that you're gonna do. So mine's a size small, but um, be sure just to use your measuring tape to see what size you want your design to be because it might be different based on the size of shirt that you decide to do. So I am going to, I think I'm gonna try to stick around six inches by seven inches for my shirt. I think that's gonna be a really nice, um, size design. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go into design space and I'm going to show you how you can take a larger um, design. So obviously six by seven is going to be um, a little bit too big for our mat. So I'm going to show you how you can take a design that's larger than mat and then get it all prepared so that it cuts out on a smaller size mat and on a smaller machine and on smaller material. And we'll get it all ready to go and then I'll show you how we're going to put it on our shirt. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space, and we're actually going to be just using a pre-made design. I love using the pre-made SVGs in Design Space. I think they're so well done, and it's a wonderful way to just speed up a project because everything's already done for you. Okay, so we're going to go over here to the left side column, and the fourth button down is called Images. We're just going to click that, and in the search engine, I'm just going to type in Faith. So it's a keyword um, to help me find the one I would like, and let me scroll through. Oh, it's actually right here. So so I'm going to use this faith over fear. If you guys know, a couple videos back, I did my own, I designed my own faith over fear um, coffee mug, and I'll link it for you guys in the top right corner. Um, and it turned out really cute, and I was telling you guys I really wanted to do a t-shirt. Um, 
about faith over fear because I just love that concept, especially right now. Um, I think it is so, so important to remember. But then I got into Cricut Design Space and there's so many wonderful SVGs and I found this one so I don't need to make my own again. And this is so beautiful, look at the script. Plus this Faith Can Move Mountains. I really wanna do something like this as well and use um, the four different colors. But today we are just gonna do this one. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Insert Images and it's gonna bring it into my canvas. Now for personal preference, you can um, decide if you want to keep the leaves or not. For this project, I'm only going to do a single um, color. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the leaves. So again, if you want to use the leaves, it's totally fine. For me, I think I'm just going to do without this time. So I'm just going to hit the delete button. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to size my design. Sometimes I like to get that out of the way first and foremost, because quite honestly, it's something I tend to forget to do. So then I'll get cutting and then I'll have to press pause real quick and because it's not the right size. So I guess I just get so excited that I just speed right through that part. But um, again, I'm going to do about six inches by seven, maybe a tad smaller. Okay, I'm at about 5.97 by 7 inches. Okay, so now what we're going to need to do is if you look over here, we have the Cricut Joy selected, and it's giving us a little warning button over here. And what this means is that our design is too big for the mat that we have. So what we need to do is we need to, while maintaining this size for our shirt, we need to... Um, separate it so that we can cut it all out and then um, use the Joy, which is a smaller machine, to still make a big project. So what we're going to do is we are going to cut this into three separate cuts. So before we do that, we're going to duplicate it two times and we'll just kind of drag them apart. And grabbing the first one, we are going to contour um, out what we don't need. So in the first one, we are going to keep faith and contour out over fear. In the second one, we are going to keep over and contour out faith and fear. And in the third one, we're going to contour out faith and over and keep fear. So it'll make sense as I do it, but just watch as I go along. So in this first one, again, we're going to keep the word faith and we are going to remove over and fear. So what you do is you just hover over until it highlights and then you click and that will remove this unwanted um, part of the image. So I'm just quickly going through, whoops, took that one back out. And sometimes you have to just kind of hover just in the right spot to get it to work. So then I can click out and I'm left with faith. I'm going to move on to the next one, click the, and sometimes I'd like to move these over so I can see it once the contour box pops up. Um, I like to actually watch it do it just because it's easier for me to visualize. Um, in this one, we're going to keep the word over. So we're going to remove faith and fear. So we'll start with faith up here. Oops. See how it can get a little tricky with, um, Oh, did I put, select the wrong one? I don't even know. I might have. That's okay. I can still see it. Okay. Um, and Okay, so we're keeping over. Sometimes I have to remind myself which part we're doing here. Okay, voila. And then what we can do is we can just drag it over. And we're just going to kind of put them back together. And then this next one is going to be, um, we're going to keep fear. So we'll go ahead and click the contour box again. Minimize this so we can see everything and we will remove face and over. I love the contour feature. I think it is really, really um, handy and a very quick way to um, edit an SVG and just kind of get it exactly how you like. So now if you'll notice, we can just kind of put these back together. If you'll notice, now the warning box has gone away and we are just fine because all these pieces individually, see how we're still going to make a big shirt, but all these pieces individually can now be cut out on the joy. Okay, so that's an easy way to um, get your bigger SVG into smaller, smaller and more manageable pieces to fit through the joy. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go over and click make it. Okay, and then we are going to use on the mat. So we will say done. And then what it does is it goes ahead and it um, will separate each word by mat. So it has it all ready to go. So faith will cut first, then fear, and then and then, then over, yes, okay. So now what we'll do is we will go ahead and click continue, and it's just gonna locate our machine via Bluetooth. 
And then we can go ahead and browse materials. And I'm just going to type in infusible ink. Okay, and then we can just click infusible ink transfer sheet. I'll go ahead and star that. We were talking in my last video that I think um, I think that there's a problem with the favorites not being saved because I'll go to star my things and then they won't save. But just a second ago, um, it told me I needed a new update. So I'm hoping that it was fixed in the update. So I'll let you know, but um, that has been a stinker. So I'll start just in case it's gonna start working again. So I'm gonna click done. So I have my infusible ink transfer sheet. It's gonna give us a little warning to make sure that mirror is turned on. So we need to do that. So we're gonna go to each one. We're gonna say edit and we're gonna say mirror. And so what this does is it makes it backwards or upside down because of the way we're going to be cutting the material. So you'll see more of why we're going to do that in a second, but essentially we are going to be placing the mat ink side up on the mat. So we need to make sure that our mirror, our design is mirrored so that it cuts the right way. So that once we go to lay down our infusible ink on our shirt, it is going to um, imprint the right way. So for now, just know mirror is turned on. So we'll go to each one and and just say edit mirror on and edit mirror on okay so now we can visually see that everything is backwards <laughs> and so I'm gonna click on the first one again because that's where we're gonna be starting so again make sure mirror is turned on which we have and then the material is inked side up so we'll do that as well I'm gonna keep it on default pressure and it's just gonna show us that we're gonna use the fine point blade and we're going to load our mat into our machine and then once everything is loaded if, um, the button up here will pop up and we can go ahead and click go so another thing I want to show you is the heat guide so let me get that ready for you guys so this is the Cricut heat guide that's just on Cricut.com. I use it whenever I'm using my heat easy press. Um, and I forgot to mention in the beginning that we will be using the easy press. So just make sure you're always utilizing the description box below so that you know all the materials that I use. Um, so the easy press 2 is what we'll be using today. We are going to be using a, let's see, the material is the infusible ink transfer sheet. And then the base material is the t-shirt. So then once we have those selected, we can say apply and it will show us where, um, what we need to do in terms of preheating. Um, so we'll preheat this for 15 seconds. We're going to be using um, 385 degrees for 40 seconds. It'll tell us that we'll use light pressure and then we'll do a warm peel. So it really just helps um, to simplify the whole process. There's going to be a stacking process too. So it's going to tell us that we are going to have our easy press on top with the butcher paper underneath that. Then we're going to have the um, infusible ink and then the t-shirt so it'll kind of help and it's a visual too on because it's going to be a little bit more of a process than it would be iron on but it's going to be really 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 neat so um and then it's going to remind us that we're going to do some white cardstock and use our butcher paper so don't worry we'll get through all of that and i love the easy press um heat guide because it just pretty much walks you through hand by hand and i love that about it because it's kind of like someone is taking your hand and just saying i've got you i can totally walk you through this so we will be utilizing this today. So now we'll just go back to Cricut Design Space and get everything ready to go and start cutting. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and open up our infusible ink and see what is inside. So inside you're going to see this um, black like wrapper wrapping that surrounds the infusible ink. So you can just cut that so that you can open it up. And then once you open it, you can grab the um, stuff that's inside. So there's going to be a little decusant packet, I think I said that right, um, that just keeps the moisture out of there. And then you'll find your sheets. So what we'll do is, how cute, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I even, you guys know I love pale pink, so I love it just like this, <laughs> but it's going to get brighter. So we're just going to keep this in here so that um, it helps. Um, keep it nice and good once we go to put it back in the box. And then it has a little bit of um, tester um, fabric in case you wanted to test out the color or anything like that. So what we're gonna do is now, um, we're just gonna, I mean, you can touch it, but you just wanna minimize how much you touch it. You also wanna make sure that you don't have any um, lotion or um, any type of moisture on your hands because you don't wanna smudge the ink. So inside, you're also going to find some um, butcher paper. So we're gonna use this. Um, this comes with two rolls and the sizing is four and a half by 
like 12 inches. So I believe we might actually use both of them. We'll have to see how it all fits out. So we'll go ahead and start. Let me get this all a little bit cleaned up because messes make me a little bit nervous. <laughs> so, okay, let's get everything tidied up. So we'll start with our first one. And what we're gonna do is just remove that sheet from our mat and we'll put this one on so i'm just going to lay this on my mat just like this and then what i'm going to do is use my brayer tool just as a way to help minimize how much i'm touching it um, i don't want to interfere with the ink on there Okay, and so what I'm also going to do is I'm going to use my little slicer tool because I want to make sure that that stays flat on the mat, so I'm just going to slice that because I don't want it to um, bubble up. Okay, I'm just going to slice that away. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Um, if you want to do it the other way, but for me, I'm just going to make sure that that stays nice and flat. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and open up our little joy. And we will start cutting. So I'm going to go back into Cricut Design Space. Mirror is turned on. We're just going to load our mat. I'm so excited. This is going to be so cute. Okay, so everything is aligned. We have enough material. It is made sure of that. We're gonna be cutting out faith first. So it says that everything's good to go. We can go ahead and click go and then it's gonna start cutting for us. Okay, so that first one's already done. It was really, really easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and click unload on my device. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over and I'm just going to carefully peel the mat away from the infusible ink. So it looks awesome. So, so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that one aside and then we are going to be doing fear next. So we're gonna need another one of the bigger slices, but um, we're gonna be able to use a smaller slice for the um, third one. So that's just fine. We're gonna be using our material really wisely. So this one, it looks like we only need about five inches. So what I'll do, is I will go ahead and just trim that down with my slicer. That way we use the exact amount of material we need and we don't waste any more. So what I'm doing there is I'm just referencing my design space and it go shows you a little mock-up of um, the material on the mat so you can see how much you're gonna need. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut that just a tad over five just to be sure that I have enough. There we go. To be honest, I should have done that more um, with the first one, so hindsight, but you know what, that's okay. Um, it still was fine, but I would have wasted less material on my first one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and again, use my braid tool to help minimize how much I'm touching the infusible ink. Okay, so now again, we're gonna do the same thing. Load it, it's gonna measure it, and then it will start cutting. Okay, and then the second one is done. And we will place the last little bit on there, and I have just enough, it's gonna be perfect. So we can, actually we can place it just like this for the over. So I'm just gonna place the infusible ink, um, anything that I didn't use, all the little pieces, right back inside here um, with this little uh, decadent packet and then there was a little, um, little memo thing in there too. And so I'm just gonna place that back inside and then place it back in my box just to store it um, for the next time that I want to use it. Okay, so we're gonna unload this and the last one is done. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are just going to make sure that our um, Easy Press is preheated. So again, it says to preheat to 385. We'll do that. And then it says we're going to press for 40 seconds. So, whoops. We'll get our little... We'll get everything set. Okay, so that is going to go ahead and start preheating for us. And it'll give us a cute little chime once it's ready to go. So now what we're going to do is we are going to weed out our little pieces. So um, this is going to look a little different than HTV and... Um, iron on or HTV and vinyl but um so what you're going to do is you're actually um for tools you're just going to use some tweezers if needed but mostly you can use your fingers so you're just going to kind of crack it and then um peel away so I'm going to start with the outside perimeter and just start peeling away the um negative space or the surrounding area just being gentle so I'll peel away the outside and okay so the reason you don't use a um, weeding tool is because you don't want to scratch the ink because if you scratch it then it's going to show in your final design so um, your fingers are much gentler um, and if necessary, you know, you could peel up a little bit of this and then go in with your tweezer tool and grab it if you'd like. So, um, any way that is, um, gentler is preferred for this product. So now I'm just going to take out those middles. So just the same concept of weeding iron on HTV where you want to take away anything that you're not going to use so then once you go to flip this over it's going to say it in the right direction so that's how um, the mirroring is working and that's why that's important okay so we're just going to go ahead and set the first one to the side and I'll go ahead and weed the rest so again I'm just going to kind of crackle they say to kind of crackle and pop it <laughs> is what they say and then just remove the backing and all of it parts of the design that you do not want. Okay, so now that they're all weeded out, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and cut away um, as much of the extra that I can in between where the words are gonna be, so in between the three lines. So along the sides, um, isn't going to matter like along the sides this way isn't going to matter but if you remember we're going to be stacking the letters pretty closely together so I'm just going to make sure that I remove um, that one is actually going to be just fine um, as much as I can so I can tuck those in together so I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quickly just taking my scissors being careful not to cut my design obviously but giving myself some you know, room to get those pieces to puzzle piece back together. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I removed my little craft mat from underneath because I don't want to get that too warm or anything. Um, I'm going to grab my t-shirt and I'm going to lay it over my mat. So I'm going to focus on the area where my design is going to be. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to preheat my shirt. So I'm just going to preheat that for about 15 seconds. You guys, is anybody, um, did anybody take advantage of the Cricut sale that was just going on last week? I bought way too much stuff. <laughs> I'm going to do an unboxing when stuff comes to show you what I got because I definitely scored this time so I did get the bigger easy press too um so I'm really excited for that to come and I got a different color I love this color but I thought it'd be fun to get something different too just to differentiate my machines so okay so that has been preheated and now what I'm going to do is I am going to take my lint roller and I'm going to make sure that I go over my shirt especially the area where the design is going to lay down um, this is a really important step that you do not want to skip so make sure that you do that 
So I'm just gonna go over and then I'm gonna go over again, just to be extra, extra certain um, that, you know, even though it just came out of the um, sack and the packaging, I just wanna make sure nothing is on there. So this is a step that they highly recommend. So definitely do that. Okay, so I've done that. I feel really good about it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and place my cardstock inside of my shirt. So what I'll do is I'll just open up the bottom here and just gonna place my cardstock right inside. So now what this is going to do is this is going to prevent the ink from getting on the back of the shirt. So it's kind of um, being used as a protective barrier here and it's gonna protect that back shirt from getting any ink on it. Okay, so now it's time to start stacking our design. So um, we wanna make sure that this is cooled down though because once you start laying this down, if you lay it down on material that's too hot, then the ink will start transferring. Um, so you don't wanna do that because you wanna make sure that um, you know you don't get any smudges or if you need to move your design, um, you don't wanna have to pick it up and then realize that it has already started transferring the ink over. So it's best just to wait a little bit and make sure that's cool and then we can start laying this down. Down. Okay, so it's nice and cool. So I'm going to go ahead and start stacking my design here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start kind of laying down and I'm going to grab my tape measure and I'm going to go about two and a half inches. That's just about two and a half inches too. I'm at about two and a half inches from my neckline there. And then I'm going to I like to measure my biggest word, so um, luckily that was the first word that I have, um, is the faith, so that's the largest one. So that's about five inches, and oh, that's just shy, so let me pull that up just a little. Move it over just a little bit. This is going to be so cute. Okay, so that is about five and a quarter and that is about five five and a quarter okay so we're good there and then make sure that I didn't move that um, at all this way and that is at about two and a half it's a little shy of two and a half but everything else is so perfect I'm not gonna move it okay and so it's really helpful if you keep your design space open so you know exactly um, where everything's supposed to fit in here um, so on this one I'm gonna have to cut a little bit now this infusible ink um, backer is sticky, so it's really going to be um, nice and helpful to stick down to the t-shirt. So once you place it there, for the most part it stays. Um, so I'm going to just set that little over right in there. Do I have a little piece of, oh I do. I have a little piece of um, um, ink that was one of my middles that I weeded out, but it stuck on the sheet. I'm so glad. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad that I noticed that or I was prompted to notice that. Okay, so let me just cut that little sheet. That way my sheets aren't overlapping. Okay, so I've got that placed down and I'll do the last little bit. This one is right. I need to trim that just a little bit as well. So take your time on this part. Be picky, be as picky as you want. Take your time because you want it to be perfect. Okay, so I really like how that looks. It looks really good. I've got it all lined up just how I like it. Now what I'm gonna do is, just so nothing moves, is I am going to take um, some of my heat resistant tape and I am just going to add, um, just a little bit to the sides here just to make sure everything stays where I want it. Um, it's down pretty well. Um, the over definitely needs a little bit of tape only because I had to trim it quite a bit um, to fit all the little pieces um, together. So it's got a little skinny so some of the sticky backer um, isn't, isn't quite enough to get it to stick to the shirt which is totally fine. So we'll just put a little bit of heat resistant tape in there. 
my tape ran away. Okay. Okay, come here. And one more little piece down here just to just to make this last guy feel included. Okay. I need to get a cute little tape dispenser for my heat resistant tape. That way that makes that easier. Okay, so now it is all taped down so that it's all in the right spot. I'm feeling really good about it. I really am excited to see how this turns out. Okay, let me zoom you in and we will get to pressing. Okay, so we are all ready to press it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the butcher paper that was included. And you wanna make sure um, that your butcher paper is nice and clean. So we're just gonna lay that over our design. Okay. Now, the thing about infusible ink is you only press it one time. So unlike iron-on where you can press multiple times, um, you're gonna press it in one press. So you wanna make sure that your design is all covered um, and it's gonna be covered with the plate. So now what we're gonna do is, now that we have this all down, we are going to grab our um, easy press and we are going to place it over the entire design. Let's see, make sure that I have it. And once it's on there, you don't wanna move it. So no moving it. And we're gonna press the start and you wanna keep it completely still. So if you move it, you risk the chance of your ink moving with the machine and it creates a little bit of a ghosting effect, which um, is a term that is, has been used um, where your ink can smear and smudge and that would not be good. So it said light pressure and we're just going to let that count down. We're also going to say a little prayer. <laughs> I think this is going to look really nice, so I'm really excited. Okay, so three, two, one. Now when you go to lift it, you want to lift up. You don't want to lift from the side or at an angle. So you're going to lift directly up and then remove your... Um, press and put it back in its base. Now for this part, you are going to want to um, make sure that you let it um, cool a little bit because it does say a warm peel. So you can go ahead and remove your um, butcher paper. Perfect. And we're just going to let that cool down for a second and then we will peel it up. Okay, so we can go ahead and start peeling. So I'm gonna do it um, in diff in the separate layers. So I'm gonna start with this bottom one. I'm so excited to see the um, final color. It's gonna be really, really pretty, I'm sure. So once I peel it, I'm gonna peel it an angle and peel up. Oh my goodness, how pretty is this? So exciting. Okay, and then <laughs> I'm trying to decide where I want to start here. Let me grab this little guy right here. So you'll notice the back, see, all of the ink is gone. So it was a really, really good press. I think the prayers worked, so I'm definitely gonna add saying a little prayer to my um, checklist for crafting. <laughs> totally worked. Look at that, you guys, so pretty. And again, all of the ink has um, transferred from the sheet over to the shirt. So now one main thing uh, um, that it makes this different than the iron-on is that iron-on lays on top of the shirt and infusible ink, just like the term um, really describes, is it's infusing inside of the shirt or into the shirt. So when you go to stretch it out, it stretches and then pulls right back and maintains its um, color and its quality. So you can stretch and then pull it back and it's just fine. You guys, it is so cute. I love it so much. I'm really excited about this. So I'm gonna take the cardstock out and we can take the mat out. 
Okay guys, so that's the final shirt. It looks so, so good. I'm so excited about it. It turned out beautiful. So we learned a lot of things. We learned about how we can use the um, Cricut Joy to use infusible ink and how we can use the Easy Press. We also learned um, how we can make a larger than Cricut Joy matte um, design. So you can still make full size t-shirts with the Cricut Joy. You're just gonna have to do a little bit of prep with the contour button or the slice tool, anything that you prefer um, to just kind of make that SVG work for the the size of the joy but if you can see um, this is a lot bigger than the little mat was going to let us so we were able to accomplish that so I love how this turned out it's so cute and I love um, that I have another little faith over fear little item for myself this is gonna be really fun so if you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up I loved recording this for you guys I hope you guys are all doing well if you're new here welcome and I would love if you would subscribe you guys Seriously, I'm going to do a huge unboxing video because I spent all my pennies on Cricut sale the other day and now I'm just patiently waiting. I am kind of a little kiddo that's sitting um, on the curb just waiting for the mailman to come because the box is going to be full of literally Christmas for me. It's going to be Christmas in May when it arrives. So be sure you're subscribed so you guys can see all the fun things. I am stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit and I got a few things that I wouldn't normally purchase but I thought that it would, they would be fun for the craft channel just to kind of play around with to show you guys some of the different Cricut things that we can do and then um, we've got more infusible ink stuff coming got some coasters coming some totes coming so we're going to play around with infusible ink a lot more especially with the joy so make sure you're subscribed and um, leave me a comment tell me what you're up to tell me what t-shirt you guys would make tell me if you have done infusible ink before tell me about your day whatever you'd like I love hearing from you guys especially since we're all being safe at home. This is kind of my little social hour. So I hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great week.